I think Greg Shorthand initially was attractive just formally as a thing. I think it became, after I realized it's what it was in relationship to language from a phonetic standpoint, um, as a system of language, I think it became um, viable as a source to use to make drawings. And it fit really well within the, within the rhythm of the studio. I think it was, um, it was a sort of natural uh, continuation of work that I had been sort of building up until that point. I think a lot of the same sensibilities, but I think formally it um, allows me to go to a completely different place. This, the six Greg shorthand drawings together kind of had this sort of um, equilateral, or not equilateral, but a sort of egalitarian sort of um, presence and um, conceptual sort of um, tint to the point where each drawing is a word. No, actually, it's more like each each drawing is a word, but each word is a potential drawing. I think helps is like the w best way for me to understand the Greg, Greg shorthand drawings. But the six words: um, free, power, movement, pressure, weight, nomenclature. Um, they they're all different ways that I, I I tend to understand and describe and to sort of um, think of the the studio and uh, think of the work that comes out of the studio. So in that sense, the drawings are very self-referential, but they also describe work, the other work that's in the show, by which I mean the um, floor drawings or the small tennis ball drawing. I think it's all kind of, some of them are action words. Some of them are, are kind of, uh, what's the word, not duplicitous. Is that the word I'm looking for? Because it's, so it's like, like a, um, it's an ambiguous is the wrong word. Because I feel like ambiguous means they have unclear meaning. But it's like the good form a of, yeah, yeah, they have a duality. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like the sort of, it's like the good type of ambiguous where they have two, they, you know, they have several meanings as opposed to unclear meaning. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whatever the distinction is. But um, yeah, I think that's what I, that's primarily where I, I wanted to start with this. And also the fact that, that like let them be drawings as they are, let them be individual things, formal things, because the language is primarily just a place to begin. 